so this is a picture of the nitrogen cycle and like any of the geologic cycles that we've studied it is able to turn nitrogen from one form into another and seeing as it's a cycle you can start anywhere on it that you would like although I always usually start up at the top in the atmosphere I think of atmospheric nitrogen as the beginning which is N2 and of course that has a triple bond so it's extremely happy being in that form and most organisms can't use it so N2 is very hard to utilize there are only a few things that can do that and some of the things that can utilize and two are these guys down here, the nitrogen fixing bacteria that live uh, on the roots of plants like soybeans and other legumes and things like that. So these are a very specific set of bacteria and what they do is they take atmospheric nitrogen in the form of N2 and they fix it so using this word right here, that's the term that we use is fixing they fix it into a form uh, that plants can use directly. Some of those special soybean bacteria do that. If you're not a soybean and you don't have those special bacteria, you have to use some soil bacteria down here. They do the same thing, you'll notice. They also fix the nitrogen. It's the same word. And what that means is you turn it from atmospheric nitrogen, N2, into ammonia, which is NH4, down here right through the process of ammonification which is also here so it's fixed into ammonia now you have a different set of bacteria and what happens is they are called the nitrifying bacteria and they take the ammonia and through the process of nitrification they turn that into nitrite nitrite with an I which is NO2 minus and then we have a different set of bacteria called the nitrifying bacteria and they turn it into nitrate, an eight as in an A, which is NO3 minus. So plants cannot use nitrite with an I, but plants can use nitrate and they're happy about this. All right, so the nitrate what can be directly utilized by the plants in the process called assimilation. Plants can then directly be utilized by the animals and the animals can get nitrogen into their body in that way. When the animal defecates or when it dies, the decomposers come into play and they will break down the body of the animal and some of the nitrogen will be released back in the form of ammonia down here and the process will start over. So this is sort of a mini cycle here in the middle. This process right here is a mini nitrogen cycle in the larger process. So if a plant does not utilize nitrate going up here and to the left, what it can do instead is it can use these bacteria on the side. They're known as denitrifying bacteria. They're completely separate from all of the other bacteria that we've already seen. And they perform the job of turning the nitrate, the NO3, back into atmospheric oxygen, which is N2. And these guys are sort of the end of the cycle, and nitrogen can go back up into the atmosphere. So as you can see, there's plenty of paths for the nitrogen to take in this cycle, and some go quicker than others, and some have a shortcut loop, such as the nitrogen-fixing bacteria that live on the legumes. Sometimes it cycles around here with the plants and the decomposers, and sometimes it starts at the top and goes all the way through and back up into the atmosphere again. So the nitrogen cycle is something you should know for the apes test, and good luck!